Uh, so this question comes from Jonathan M. Um, how much does a college you attend uh, matter for a software developer? As And do employers look down on you if your software development degree is not from a really high-end college? Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, the big thing for you guys, if you guys are going to go be software developers or computer science or any of that kind of stuff, uh, the big thing to understand is the value of going to a really good school in a lot of ways actually is only valuable while you're going to the school or right after you graduate, right? So uh, I was in, so when we did the whole, took the trailer around the country, uh, one of the places we, we stopped at for about a week and a half was Fort Collins, Colorado. Very nice place, right? Uh, and they have Colorado, Colorado State University. They're the big university right there. And so HP is there, and Intel is there, and a lot of a lot of big, big players uh, are in Fort Collins. You want to think it's like a town of 130,000 people. It doesn't seem that big, but there's a lot of big players. And the reason is, is because they know that uh, Colorado State University puts out really good students. And so essentially, you have all these companies sitting right outside uh, the university doors looking to grab up students as quickly as possible. So that is what I would argue is the real value from going to prestigious universities or good universities is the idea that you have, uh, you have HR people, you have recruiters, you have companies that literally believe in the school enough uh, that they'll set up shop right outside the school in order to vacuum up uh, students. Again, I mean, that, that's the big thing, right? Really, for you guys, uh, your the most important job you're going to have is that first job. The quicker you can get into the workforce and the better that first job is going to be, uh, the better it's going to make your experience as a, as a tech professional, right? You know, for me, my first IT job, because I, I did electronics in the Army, but when I came out, my first real IT job, um, again, I didn't go to help desk. I didn't do desktop support. My first effing IT job way over my head, but um, it, was, it was that regional support engineer where I, I got shoved on a plane and, you know, flown all over the country to fix, you know, this, that, and everything. Basically, you know, I was thrown in, and it's like, here are the computers, and here are the networks, and here are the telephone systems, and oh, we have a build-out. You know, my first year there, I did three, I was a 23-year-old nitwit, and they had me do three, like, half-million-dollar build-outs, um, and so, like, that was my first job in the IT field. And so that changes where you go. I mean, if, if my first year in IT had been in a help desk, I might be Eli the Adventure guy right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, those first jobs you get are very valuable. So if you get snapped up into a hot startup company, if you get snapped up into Intel, if you get snapped up into something sexy and cool and amazing, and you really get um, a lot of authority, that will help you in your career versus if you get the equivalent of a help desk job. Uh, so I would argue that's really what it comes down to. The the good colleges, it's about getting snapped up. Those That first job, and that first job propels you to the second job, propels you to the third. It's, you know, it's inertia. You know, you you just start on the path. Uh, it's a glide path. It's whatever path you're on is the is the easiest to continue on. Um, and there's a lot of expectations too. So you know if if uh, oh companies expect um, graduates of a certain school to be high caliber, then they give them extra responsibilities. If you have extra responsibilities, that means you get more experience. If you get more experience than other people, that means you're a higher quality employee than other people. So you end up, after 10 years, you're a, you're a better employee than somebody else with 10 years experience. Is that because you graduated from a specific university, or is it because there was an expectation that since you graduated from that university, that you could handle more responsibility, therefore you were given more responsibility, and now you're higher up. Get what I'm saying? Um, so, so that's what I would say. Um, um, I would argue you should go for the most prestigious, prestigious university that you can afford. Again, I'm not saying go to MIT, but I would say go for the highest one that you can afford uh, because, yeah, I mean, getting that first job, that first one or two jobs really will matter. Now, if you come out, you already have a degree, but you didn't do it from the right school, boo-hoo, um, just suck it up and move on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, again, you, you might have to push a little harder to get the responsibility. You might have to push a little harder and, you know, work a little more, but you'll be successful too. Um, so it's not, I would say with good universities, especially computer science or software engineering, it's not It's not a deal killer. Again, 10 years from 10 years from now, nobody's gonna give me where you went to school. 
other than to be like, oh, I really wish I went to school there, right? You, you'll get a little jealousy or something, like, oh, I wish I, I, I meant to go to MIT, but, you know, whatever. Um, so you'll get a little jealousy, but that's it. What it, in 10 years, what it will be is what have you done? Have you done build-outs? Have you managed projects? Have you been responsible for, you know, $20 million or whatever, right? Um, that's what's going to matter. So, yeah, that makes sense. Um, go to the most prestigious university that your budget can afford, is what I would argue. Uh, but again, it's more about the prestige. You, you are. You're paying for pomp and circumstance. You're paying for prestige versus quality. Uh, again, you know, looking at classes, I mean... Computer science, it's really kind of hard to screw up uh, the computer science programs. Um, you know, there are better or worse schools, you know, you, you, you learn, you know what I'm saying? But even a low, even a crappy computer science program, as long as you get decent grades in it, you're still going to be pretty good. Um, so, again, it's not... It's not the education, really. It's more that prestige is what I would say, at least at least for, like I said, the bachelor's program. 